I don't know, sometimes I feel like I got the framing of this a little bit wrong, but hopefully this is fine. Um, I'm right now taking all of the footage from one drive and moving it to another, and that's gonna take about, um, let's say, three hours. So we got some time, and I have a customer camera I'm working on, but I really wanted to get jumping on to this, which is completing this OM1, getting it all up to stat, working. So I replaced the self timer lever, replaced the bottom, and kind of just cleaned it up a little bit. I'm gonna test the shutter speeds shortly, but I wanted to talk about this. This is a OM1 that is not working. Shocking, I know. And it has a very odd issue where basically whatever speed you select here, it is not uh, registering properly. It's pretty much only firing at 1 1,000th, and I'm not entirely sure why, but we're not talking about that just yet. I wanted to talk about something I touched on briefly in the Olympus video I recently made. Just have to <clears throat> separate this here. Uh, to, if you want to do this yourself, uh, take the mirror box off of your Olympus. I would recommend not. Let me bump this down. It looks a little dark. I think that's better. I would just recommend not doing this. Wait for my neighbors to chill out there. Um, because you're more likely going to break the camera than anything else, and that would be not good. But if you are going to do this, Again, I really recommend you don't. You want to set the shutter speed to 1 1,000th first, and then there are three screws in the front here. And you don't necessarily need to take the self-timer lever off. I just do because it's easier to take the skin off. If it's not there, you do need to remove the leather in order to access the screws. Then there's two screws that sit here. So you take those off and there are washers that sit under there. So make sure you keep track of those. And then from there, it's just kind of applying it out. The two things you need to be aware of is this lever right here and this thing right here, these two charging mechanisms. I think this is the charge and then this is the discharge. It's like, this is actually looks like the, uh, I think the flash sink port deal something like that, if I had to guess. Um, so yeah, just be careful of kind of getting those out. And then this will also kind of be a challenge, but it isn't too hard to get off. So anyway, when we're here, I want to talk about this, which is the power wire. It is a brown wire and it typically sits across the front of the prism like so. And so removing that from the board, kind of gives you an idea of how it runs in the camera along there down into here. I mentioned this very briefly, but due to the mercurial nature of the batteries that this camera was designed to use, these power wires are usually bad or the contact is bad or whatever. And this is one of the most standard OM1 fixes that I've done in my time. And it's difficult because uh, this contact sucks. It's a stainless steel contact like the K1000, so you have to use the poison in order to get it to work. There's also a washer that sits underneath the screw here, and that needs to be there, otherwise you short it out from the get-go, so being aware of that. But then also, there needs to be enough tension here in order to prop up the contact so it reaches the battery. Oh, dear God. They're doing a little river dance right on top of me here. The other thing too, to mention is that if the battery wire, if the contact is bad here, it's likely going to be bad throughout. So you're probably gonna to wanna to replace the wire and that is hard to do because it is glued in here as you can potentially tell. Let me punch in a little bit, boop, boop, boop. Sorry, bear with me. You can see some tweezers it is glued in so you have to get in here all the way in order to free it from the glue that sits in the well of the body here and then there's a fat old glob of glue here 
And then now once that's all free, you can replace it as needed. So I will share a little tale of what I used to think you could do. And I thought I was pretty clever, but I thought if I could disconnect the wire from here and then uh, solder another wire to that, then feed it through the body of the camera by tugging on the top. You can't do that obviously because it is glued in there. Um, and I ripped out many wires trying to do that, but that is a life you live, you learn, so on, so forth. So that being said, um, like I said, this, this camera does have the issue of the shutter speeds not really registering properly. I think that has something to do with the linkage here, just not being accurate. So I have to go pull up a manual to figure that out. But really, I was just kind of stoked to get one good OM-1 out of this and then get that to sell. The other thing too to note is there is a string mechanism that sits right here on this little like pulley. Um, I've not worked on Olympuses enough to really tell you the deal with that. All I know is that it terrifies me and so I would try to avoid touching that or messing with that if you, if you can. And I think that's about it. Yeah, I'm really not stoked about this because I just don't really like working on these like I mentioned. If you do want to fire the camera like manually without the mirror box attached, you advance as you would normally and then you can hold the bottom up like this and just press on that and that should open up the lever. I think it's set to bulb right now, but I don't think that's completely accurate. So we're just gonna run through here. There we go. Anyway, that is all. I hope this is helpful. If you're trying to separate the Olympus camera body, I recommend just not doing that. Um, but I might make another video about that in the future. It is really easy. It's just kind of, once you get it to this stage, it's just kind of a pain in the ass. So, uh, margin for error, very slim. Wouldn't recommend unless you feel very, very confident and have done it before. And yeah, I guess that that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it as always. And I will catch you on the next one.